Hi, so I wanted to show off a few figures that I actually got from a supporter of the channel. I actually got a fairly good sized box of stuff too. But today I want to show off these that are vinyl figures that are just a little bit bigger, well, actually quite a bit bigger than my first ones that I had that are only maybe, maybe an inch or two tall <laughs> compared to these guys. That are like eight inches tall, I think. But I have a I have an X Aid one. I almost should grab the the smaller X Aid to to show the difference between them, because this guy has more paint on him than the little one, but he still also doesn't have a lot of paint because they still don't paint like the rest of the stripes. Or any of the back parts. Okay, I'll grab that small one real quick. And oh, we get the little one. Now, as you can see, they paint their face and their chest buttons good. And the side of the head pretty much the same. Just nothing on the back there. Just black there. Like on the front. Uh, and they make the shoes green and add the silver armor where it's supposed to be. Striping is still pretty much the same, but no silver like right here. And not much paint on the arms except for on the bigger one. The paint on the gamer driver is about the same. But yeah, these guys are pretty small compared to these bigger ones, but I like them. They still have the same kind of articulation. They move just a little bit in the waist and the hands. Just pretty decent for what they are. I have this one of x -Aid, and we have one of Brave, which I don't have a smaller figure of, so it's cool to have this guy. I don't know, I, I've always, like, I grew up with toys that, you know, they just moved a little bit and they were just durable, kind of big rubber characters. Sometimes they could come apart if you pulled their arms or something off. But I don't know. I, I like I like the aesthetic of characters like this. That are just simple. Just simple little toys that you can play with. I'm stand these back in the background here. Hold hands, you guys. Use your baby. And then... We got Kamen Rider Kiva, which is just decked out in a lot of paint, in my opinion. I mean, he's molded in black, so he has all this red. Not quite inside there, though. And then he has silver, red for his belt all the way around. Same with the silver on his feet and stuff. All the way around on his hands. Doesn't go all the way around on his head, but still, I feel like he almost has the more the most paint out of everyone. I think because even these two have like chest paint, but he has it like all the way around too. And then, oops, we have possibly my favorite. Really, we have Common Rider W. And I'm pretty sure he's cast in black too so you have the metallic green all the way around and the silver for this and he should oh, that doesn't want to focus very well it's supposed to have yellow that goes all the way around and purple that goes around all the way there but on him they didn't seem you know to make it go all the way around like they did with Kiva or even with these guys' arms and legs they just kind of kept it half, like even on his shoulders there. They got the green and the silver all the way across. But they didn't finish the, the purple. But the driver looks really good. And I don't know, I really like uh, this character. This figure looks really good in my opinion. 
Yeah, he has pretty much the same articulation, just arms and a bit of waist, which I don't know if they're supposed to really turn at the waist, because they, they don't do it very well. And I think it's mostly the, the little ones that kind of move, kind of move like that. But yeah, look how small those guys are to, to them. Does not want to focus. There we go. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show these guys off real quick. So till next time, I'll see you guys later.